Doug, are you ready with the opening statement? Well, great job of pitching today by our guys. You know, Pat Crawl had a, you know, kind of your typical Pat Crawl start. Uh, you know, even when you, you don't think he's quite at his best, he gives you six quality innings. And, you know, that's all you can ask for in a game three. Uh, so very proud of Pat. Uh, and Riley Gilliam got him on the mound, extended Riley today, uh, pounded a strike zone, uh, no walks, three strikeouts, uh, the one hit, he forced action in a 3-2 count, which is something that I know Andrew preaches and preaches. So it's really, really proud of Riley. Good to have Riley uh, come in and uh, do a great job for us. Uh, you know, we took advantage of the free pass in the first, had a big inning there, you know, had to, had to base hit, two out hit by uh, uh, Grayson Bird. Uh, got great production throughout the lineup today. The bottom of the order was outstanding. Jordan Green had a nice day. Bird had a nice day. And how about Kyle Wilkie? Uh, hadn't played in quite some time. Got a start. I thought he caught very well through a runner out uh, and had you know probably the biggest at bat of the game. Uh, two strikes, hit the triple in the right center field to drive in two. Uh, so just really, really proud of Kyle. He's a guy that's just works his butt off and you know the guys are cheering for him and really excited for him. You can always tell you know how good a kid is based on how his teammates react to him having success and uh, they were just thrilled for him today and that was that was great to see. So, uh, But overall offensively uh, good production throughout the lineup. Uh, we threw the ball well and we desperately needed to win today. I mean we really did and I thought we played a complete game of baseball. You know we had a couple things here and there uh, that you know we could have done better but you know uh, if you look at it uh, pounded the strike zone, only two walks today, uh, one error, uh, swung the bats well, and uh, got the win. Coach, uh, Wilkie also had another hit in addition to the triple. How critical is having a game like that for a young player's confidence like him? Well, um, it's big for him. He's a true freshman. He's playing the toughest position on the field, and he's filling in uh, for Chris Williams, who is, is one of our best players, one of the best uh, catchers in the ACC, in my opinion. So. Uh, to have Wilkie be able to come in. And number one, he did a great job behind the plate. He did a really good job of catching the baseball, uh, threw the ball well, and, and put together some good at-bats. Uh, you know, had two knocks today, drove in two runs, uh, just did a, did a great job for us. I'm very, very proud of him. Could you feel the team kind of maybe exhale after that four-run first? Um, a little bit. Uh, I, I think, again, when Wilkie – uh, stepped up and delivered that, that blow with two outs, I, I think that was really the turning point. You could start to see it uh, in that inning. In the fifth inning, I believe it was, um, Andrew Cox, two-strike hit, I thought was the first at-bat of the game where we really swung the bat with conviction. Uh, if you look up until that point, I made a point to the guys in the dugout, you know, all of our hits and all of our outs are on the ground. You know, every, every, all of our contact right now is on the ground, guys. You know, this is a guy that's got a sinker, and he's, he's really just getting us to, to do what he wants us to do, uh, which is get around the ball and hit it in the ground. I said, some, somebody needs to step up and drive a ball with a runner on first base. You know, when's somebody going to hit a ball in the gap with a runner on first and, and let's score a few? And, uh, you know, I could see it with Rudy in that at bat with two strikes, just being really aggressive with his swings into the middle of the field. Uh, and then after that, you start to see a Jordan Green, you know, drives the ball to right field. And then Wilkie with two strikes drives that ball in the gap. Uh, thank God they brought the right fielder in. Uh, so, uh, but you could see the tide turn, and it was just really more about us getting back to doing what we really do and what we preach, which is take your best swing every strike. You know, be super, super aggressive in the strike zone and, and take meaningful swings. Uh, do everything with conviction, and uh, I thought that was kind of the difference in the game there for us uh, from the fifth inning on. Can you update us on, on Chris and then who you plan to throw tomorrow night against Furman? We're going to throw Tyler Jackson. Uh, Chris felt a little better today. Uh, we're trying to work through his range of motion. Uh, that's kind of the first key uh, with an injury like this is just try to work on his range of motion. He felt a little better today than he did yesterday. Uh, we'll continue to work on his range of motion tomorrow. If he feels okay, he may try to hit off the tee, uh, but that's going to be a big if. You know, if he feels all right, then we'll do it. Uh, but the big thing is, is, is just trying to get him day by day feeling a little bit better. Um, and I think the next couple days will tell us a lot. You know, it'll, it'll tell us if we're going to be able uh, to DH him, will we be able to catch him, or do we need to rest him? 
Um, a lot of it will be just kind of based on the next couple of days. Davidson leading off today and Pender's uh, batted third last mm -hmm. couple of games. Is moving Pender to third kind of a response to the late spurt and, and power that he's shown? Uh, a little bit. I, I think more than anything else, uh, I, I just like I like Chase coming up to the plate with runners on base because I just think he gives you competitive at bats. And Chase uh, didn't have a hit today, but he's been swinging the bat very, very well. We need a veteran presence in the middle. Uh, so I, I just think when you sandwich Chase between Reed and Seth, um, you, you've got a guy there that, that can drive the baseball, uh, can hit the ball in the gaps. He can also hit with two strikes. Uh, if you need to bunt, he can bunt. He can bunt for a hit. Um, you know, it, it's good to have a guy who's dynamic, I think, between those two guys because, you know, Roman's going to swing. I mean, he's going to hit. We're not going to bunt with Reed. We're not going to hit and run with Reed. We're going to hit with Reed. We're going to hit with Seth. I mean, that's what they do. So we're going to – we're going to – we always try to work to the player's strength. And Chase has a lot of strength. So it's good to have him in between those guys. If we can get Logan and Reed on – we can do some different things uh, with Chase uh, to try to help us generate some production. Kind of